Ah, thank you for the great introduction and thank you for the invitation. It's my great pleasure to give a talk in this nice summer school and I'm very happy to be able to attend this summer school in person. So today, I'd like to discuss some arithmetic invariant arising from geometry. So first I give, I fix some notation. <laughs> it's a movie. Ah, okay. okay. So uh, just use these two. Okay. And I think you can push the division in the middle. Because not exactly. Mm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so let F be a finite extension. Over QP or FP double bracket T. And let X be an S scheme where S is a spec for OF. That is, uh, that is regular. And the structure map is uh, flat and of finite type. And uh, of relative dimension D. And we cause the isolated singular point that is, I write x. So this is a close point. Close point over the close point of S. That's that. X is smooth over uh, outside this point. For simplicity, uh, in the introduction, I assume that this X is uh, a rational point. So the X is as smooth to the cross point of S. But this is for simplicity. We can get this situation after taking an unrefined equation. Then we have, uh, under this assumption, we have a vanishing cycle complex supported at point X. This is equal. That big. And this is a complex. Ah, sorry, L is, L is take it to prime two, prime two p. This is a complex of LAD representation of the absolute character of L. And to such a representation, we consider two invariants. The one is the total dimension. So this is an integer, and the, the total dimension is the sum of the usual dimension and the one conduct. The second one is a local epsilon factor. Uh, I write Like this. So I, I'm following the notation due to Dorin for the local compactor. So, where phi is a non trivial additive character and mu is a half measure. Uh, <laughs> Where psi is a dt. 
Toto ten myslím. Alternating sum. Alternating sum. Ah, yes. Thank you. So, that is a non-trivial character. So, and uh, we always assume that this size is of uh, order zero. So this means that this pi factors, factors through f over of, but not f over the inverse of the maximal ideal. And mu is a hard measure on f, and uh, our mu is always normalized by the following condition. The volume of the ring of integers is always one. We consider such invariants, and for the total dimension, uh, there is a conjecture, so called Milner formula, that describes this total dimension in terms of uh, some uh, coherency. So, to do so, I need to introduce another notation. This is a scheme theoretic singular locus. So, this is a closed subscheme defined by the, the annihilator. Of this module, as I said, as I said, this is supported. Yeah. Then we have a formula this that the total dimension is equal to uh, the following. where L means the length as an OF module. And today, I'd like to discuss similar conjecture uh, for the local functional factor. But mainly assuming that P is odd. But before going into detail, uh, let me explain how, how interesting this local factor, in spite of its slightly heavy notation. I don't, ex I don't say anything about the definition of the bunching cycles. Instead of that, I say something about this local constant. This local epsilon factor of the vanishing cycles naturally appear when we consider the hast value zeta function. So let y be a regular proper, well, probably this is well known to the specialist, regular proper path scheme over the integer. And uh, I write lambda, I write. Lambda for the completed has to be zeta. So this is the product of the has to be zeta function of y times some gamma factor. Then, under some conjectures on uh, global Langland correspondence, it is expected that this function can be extended to neuromorphically to a uh, com the complex whole plane and satisfies the functional equation. Of the following form. Oh. Where D is relative to the meter. Then, yeah, so, a global language correspondence and some local global compatibility implies that A should be the product of uh, 
Eu cred că și un fapt au gravat niște cycle complex. Together with some other local factor, but this, this comes coming, coming from from hot structure of the genetic fiber. So when the singular locus of I is isolated, then this local epsilon factor is uh, the product of a local epsilon factor under consideration. And yes, in this way, so the, this local epsilon factor naturally appears. And today, I'd like to investigate some uh, relation between this local epsilon factor and degeneration of the uh, geometry. So, more precisely, I, I construct some quadratic form on some invertible OZ module. And uh, I give a conjecture that describes that local epsilon factor in terms of the quadratic, quadratic form. But this OZ may not be a, a vector space of a field, then probably the notion of a quadratic form over such a module may not, so, may not be so common. So first I explain the, what I mean by quadratic form on such module. I, I can find form. So we keep f and psi, and p can be two. So let m be a OS module of finite length. Then uh, mapping and to f over o f is a quadratic form. If the following two conditions hold, a one is uh, u and n, it is a squared event. Any O and any M. Yes, and secondly, the this well, usual, how to say, thing is bilinear. I also say that this is a non-degenerate quadratic form if this pairing is perfect. So I can associate the uh, quadratic Gaussian with such a non-degenerate quadratic form. So let's give me a non-degenerate quadratic form on M. Then we define top side Q to be the following form.
And this has a, so this is got some, this has a expected property. That this is equal to, uh, the square root of the cardinality up to root of infinity. So we use this notion of Gaussian for our result. Okay, now I start construction of the form. So for the construction, uh, I recall some useful fact. The form is P fact. Let's key locally. On X, takes a resolution. Where, such that this is locally, uh, OX locally free, locally free OX module of rank D plus one, and L is locally free, uh, invertible OX module. I give some examples. First, uh, it is known that the SK locally, X can be realized as a regular divisor of Smooth testing. So P, P, P is smooth testing and the, the margin is co dimension one. Then, if one has a, such a close dimension, then we can take L to be the normal one module and E is the omega one of P. In the geometric case, uh, when f is positive characteristic, then we have a more numerical choice. So we can take uh, L to be the okay, O. OCP and it is. Uh, uh, the theoretic compression of the differential model. In the geometric case, we have such nice, nice resolution, some mechanical resolution, but in the mixed characteristic case, we don't have such things, so we need to make a test, but we can, uh, we can make it work. So we, uh, we focus on a single singular point, so we can show X around the point, so we may assume that such a resolution exists. Sorry? Uh, X is over OF.
just a small remark, you take the added completion and the black box, but in fact, you don't need it because uh, you, you, the, the ring of integers already is finite over the piece of powers in the equal cut in this case. So the, different, the usual differentials is already good without completion. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's a coherent shift. The differentials just absolutely. Okay. You, because you also want this key locally, so you don't need any completion in this. Okay, thank you. I, thank you for the remark. Then the, so, so we take one such resolution, then the singular locus is finite, implies that the following possible complex. Is exact where this is defined by uh, one and yeah uh, and the uh, other is exact and so as a consequence this is invertible. OZ module. This is this is useful in uh, construction of the quadrate form. So now I start the construction and I give the names for two morphisms. This is F and this is F. I write P for this. First, I consider I lower shrink. Uh, sorry, I lower stand the plus shrink of OS shifted by one. Yes, and this one is currently isomorphic to. Ah, uh, no, uh, I, I, I'm going to construct it, yes, not yet. Sorry for my bad explanation. Where omega is the design now. Yes, and here. Yeah. Is nothing but the compatibility of the upstream product. Then I use this long exact sequence. So this is an invertible OG module. So and so. Um, This exact sequence tensor with the inverse of the highest, highest x layer power gives a resolution of it. locally free resolution of I lower star z. And using this fact, We can proceed that 
this, ah, we can put this long local inferior resolution into this part, and uh, we have uh, this size mode, where LZ is each one of This one and uh, so we take uh, we take a resolution of this one. Then this is just a you know, the full part of L. Yeah, so to obtain a description of uh, this this one, I need to take some actually choice of resolution, but the map from here to here is canonical in the sense that this does not depend on the choice of the resolution because this isomorphism is an factorial. But to get this one, to get uh, isomorphism, I need to make a choice. And uh, Yes, this is the key isomorphism, and uh, the next task is find a find a good trivialization of LZ. Then I can construct a quadratic form as follows. Uh, I will explain how to take this one later. Uh. First, consider this uh, OF module of finite length. Then, using alpha, I uh, identify this one. Mm -hmm. This one. Then using that isomorphism, this one is isomorphic, canonical isomorphic to this one. Okay. And we have a trace map to OS 50 by 1. Uh, because this is finite. And this complex fits into the following triangle, distinguished triangle. But, but this module is uh, at the MF torsion module. Mm. Whereas F is, uh, whereas uh, informizer is invertible on F. So the composite map factors through this F over OF. And uh, moreover, this, this one is unique because, because the same reason. So, so, the, so we have F. And uh, ah yes, yes, and so sorry, I I add. Mm. Uh, 
finally, I consider map to the send x to minus 1 over 2 x inside x. So we need this factor. So I, I don't know the reason why I need this one, but uh, this is necessary to, to get a correct conjecture. And uh, I call, the, uh, I write Q alpha for this map. And this is non-degenerate quadratic form in our sense. Okay. You know, then I explain uh, which alpha I take. So the key input is atocytos isomorphism. They show that Z tensor with OZ reduced is canonically isomorphic to. This uh, <laughs> module tensor group. So I don't explain the, how to construct this isomorphism, but instead of that, I give some example. So I, I think it is better, uh, yeah, example is better to get some feeling. So when F is positive characteristic, then we have a another characteristic. And LZ is isomorphic to OZ DT. Then we have a another map. Sending an informizer to DT. And uh, they, what they construct is some mixed characteristic analog of this isomorphism. Oh. So, using the result, so we need actually choices. Is a informizer. Mm. I and then which is a lift lift of the isomorphism that is given by this informizer. Uh, Ah, the, uh, I take alpha to be such, to be such a one leaf. So this test of alpha is not elegant, but what I can say is that associated the sum is only only depends on the informizer. Hmm. Then now I can give the conjecture. So suppose P is not two. Then this one is equal to the following.
Ah, sorry. Then I need to explain what this is. This is also this is the quadratic. And uh, so this is widely open, but uh, I verified that this is true. When uh, x is a non degenerate quadratic singularity, or well, when F is of positive characteristic. And finally, when X is a finite extension, Y is a finite separable extension. In the last minutes, I I'd like to explain uh, some sketch of proof of some of these three. Yeah. Mm. Ah yes, yes. Thank you. I think I, so the first case is the easiest one. So because <laughs> mm. so there is a how to say explicit description of non-degenerate uh, or the generalization of non-degenerate quadratic singular point. So using that explicit description, we can compute explicit. <laughs> so this is direct computation. Ah, uh, much easier because we don't need that map. Sorry, I forgot the name. Thank you. Yeah, the computation of the vanishing cycles given in CGA7. Okay. So I start uh, proof of two. The idea is to deform our initial isolated singular point to the case of one by considering A family and uh, yeah. in so the constant family, so we consider the following diagram. Where P is 
normal and not connected and we'll find a type over okay what is it is a busy field of f and the x is smooth And uh, F to the is smooth outside. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. X is smooth over T and uh, and Z is a singular locus over F to the that is assumed finite over T. So taking, uh, so taking a fiber over a point of T, then we get the seconds of morphisms and uh, ZT also finitely many isolated singular points of FT Tudor. So in this sense, I call this diagram as a family of the Family of isolated singularities. And then taking small t, we have a finite many singular points, and we have a um, set of the vanishing cycle is complex. The key input for our proof is Continuity of the local addition factor from where mm, local addition factor. So I talked about this several times, so let me do that again. So the theorem is so there is a continuous character. Of the, of the abelianization of pi 1 of t, that sends the geometric provenience element at t to the product of the local action factor. Uh, it is this is it is is the total some total limit And how to do this theorem? So, uh, so we we take we take a family such that this initial finger point is contained in it.
and uh, it's generic. Singular points are non degenerate quadratic. Then we reduce, we can reduce. this general case to the case one by the authority in C7. Okay, then I explain the case three. Case three. So, oh. finite. Separable extension. In this case, the Marijin cycle is complex. Is Some familiar representation. This is the induced representation of the trivial one. Modulo is an unorganized part. And in this, fortunately, in this case, the construction of in the construction of quadratic forms, so we don't need any choice because. We make many choices to, to trivialize some invertible shift, but the invertible shift that we must trivialize is already trivial in this case, because it's zero. Then Q alpha is isomorphic to the following one. This. And the conjecture is equivalent to the following formula. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, there was a previous work that described this local this local epsilon factor when when p is odd when p is odd. So due to NR and and cyto, and uh, we can check that their formula. Uh, this formula is equivalent to or follows from their formula. But uh, in their formula, we need some division into cases, but we don't need it in this form. And another good point 
of this reformulation is that in this form, I managed to find the similar formula when B is good. So I explain that case. When P is 2, this map, we cannot consider this map because this is not well defined. Instead of that, we consider the following map. So I enlarge the module so that the map is well defined. This is very defined and non generate for the form. Okay. The local Epsilon factor is, in this case, equal to the following. We need the denominator because I enlarged the module, so this is necessary to get the correct absolute value. Times some extra factor. Where xi is by this one, and <laughs> what is if by so if by is a unique element in. In this module, such that phi if phi y is phi this one for for any phi. So the proof is a combination of some very classical global result. Proof is first result with the well known fact that the sign in the functional equation of the Dekinto zeta zeta function is always equal to 1. The other one is phase with plus D row. This row D row for quadratic person or so called value in the indices. Then we can reduce to the case where f is over qp, where p is odd. Or over r. So I have not explained the Archimedean case, but this is much e easier. So and this case is already uh, proved somewhere. So 
I still have time, so I, some, I say something that is skipped. I explain that the conjecture is true when uh, in the geometric case, but we're assuming that P is odd, but in the geometric case, I have a similar result when even P is 2. So, but I cannot explain in detail when P is 2. But plus x is a regular, uh, is as before, and small x is an isolated single point. For such isolated single point, I can associate some invariant, which I call alpha invariant. This is the element of k modulo kk, where k is sending x, the alt initial map. So, uh, due to the lack of time, I cannot explain how to construct this one, but I just say, let me just say, this is a characteristic analog of the discriminant. Alpha. This discriminant is usually lives in the multiplicative group, but uh, here we get something in this additive group. So using this alpha invariant, we can say the following. This is already not real, but this question number is an integer and the local position factor divided by Call M. This is a sign. Oh, and Q is the carnality of K. And uh, this is one if and only if the alpha invariant is trivial. Running, I'm running out of time, so yeah, I stop here. Thank you. So, are there any? So, thank you very much for this beautiful lecture. And are there any questions first here in Lumini? So, you, you completed the the epsilon factor uh, for, for finite extension, extension and you related it to the trace of squared. So this epsilon factor must be related to the Hasse invariant of this trace of squared. You mean, sorry. So you have a quadratic form, trace defined quadratic form, so you, you, you can define Hasse invariant of this quadratic quadratic mm -hmm. form, so, so this, this, this gives, gives you a sign. Mm -hmm. So can, can you direct, directly relate this sign to this uh, Gauss sum? Uh, 
Ah, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. This is essentially done by Bayou. Bayou, Bayou himself. Oh, uh, I see. Thank in you. In the context of Bayou index. Thank you. Are there any other questions? No? So maybe uh, Ahmed in uh, on Zoom. Go for go, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I think, so you didn't explain about the, this product formula that you need when you have a parameter scheme T, uh, you said that uh, you have a situation parameterized by T with singular locus finite over T, and then you want that uh, you, the, the epsilon factors for the close point give a, a, a character of pi one T. So, uh, and also you need, I think, a, a similar formula for the expected value, but uh, so do you, how do you prove this? Is it somehow relating it to some global determinant of cohomology or something like this? Sorry, what do you mean by global determinant? Sorry. No, no, okay. so you, to, to prove that, that there is a representation of pi 1t, hmm? a character of pi 1t that gives the, the at each close point the, the Product of epsilon factors with certain signs. You 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 uh, you, uh, you wrote this effect on the black on, is one of the steps in the proof. So is it? Uh, uh, can you explain why? So this is a theorem. There exists one of the theorems that for Benio Stegos the product of local epsilon factors. Yes. So. So how, how do you prove it? Is it by ah on, on the proof of the continuity? A, a, a representation. So the only way I see to construct a, a something like this is saying that that you have a, let us say action on the some shear, aquan sheet that can come from let us say determinant of cohomology or sorry, yeah, so you, you your question is about the proof of the continuity of yeah. the local ah so so yeah, I skip. I skipped everything. So I use um. Actually, I can construct more refined object. Um, mm, let's say so. So we are considering such family, but then we get. I. Oh, sorry. <laughs> On some oriented product. And this is a kind of a family of, of lo local Fourier transform of the vanishing cycles, and uh, I can prove this. This is locally con uh, smooth shear. Mm, this is smooth. I can prove this. This is, uh, okay. yeah. And uh, yes, and then taking the determinant of this smooth complex, then, and uh, by the Lomos homological formula, the continuity of the local epsilon factor can be proved. Okay, thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. So maybe let's thank the speaker again. And